what? It's Clifford's birthday today. <laughs> Looks like you've already started. Oh boy, a new game. Do you want the game to be easy, medium, or hard? Hard. Medium. <laughs> such a fuss over a little sneeze. We'll just need to find the four missing jewels for Clifford's new collar. Let's add it to the list. Well, we better get going. Can you carry these? My backpack will be perfect for carrying stuff. And we can use the map to get around town. So, where do you want to go first? It's one of the 
missing jewels from your birthday collar. Yay, Froggy! Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit! Wow, he's good. Good job! Give me my help, me! Uh -huh. Mr. Tibble, what are you doing up there? Waving my arms and yelling for help. Help, help. I think he's stuck up there. Bingo. Woof. Maybe we should help him. Woof, woof. Good idea. Maybe Clifford can reach Mr. Tibble. I guess that's too far for even Clifford to reach. Now what? We need something to use to get you down. It's fun coming here. Clifford has a lot of friends at the beach. <laughs> There's nothing Clifford and I like more than a pile of tasty fish sticks. Hi, Loretta. Hey, Emily Elizabeth. And that sweet Clifford. It looks like you could use some of Loretta's special homemade deep fried fish sticks to plug you up. Mm, Loretta, those look great. Well, help yourself. Did I mention how much Clifford likes fish sticks? Clifford! This could be a problem. Oh no! Rocky, my baby. You're a good swimmer. What do we do? We need to get Rocky back. He's one of Clifford's best friends. Woof! Woof! Hey, look what this is. A package for Ramona Diamond and her dog, Evie. Ooh, huh. How did that get there? I think the postwoman left it here by mistake. That's okay. You will make sure she gets it. Thanks. Quite appreciated. I never learned to swim. I guess I spent all my spare time learning to cook. I go out to save Rocky, but I can't swim that far. Ooh. Great idea. Clifford can swim all the way out to rescue Rocky. Clifford is a really good swimmer. But getting hit by waves makes him tired. Swimming into seaweed makes him really tired. When Clifford is really tired, he loses all his energy, and he needs to stop and rest. Luckily, fish sticks give him energy. Hope Clifford eat fish sticks and stay away from the waves and seaweed. Help him reach rock. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you so much. You have a free fish sticks for life, my dear. That's my dog. Clifford, it's one of the missing jewels from your birthday collar. Good job. sure you can find some place big enough to wash, Clifford. Thanks, Mr. <laughs> Kibble. Oh, 
Those are our neighbors, Horace and Violet Reedsman. This pool would be the perfect place to give Clifford a birthday bath. I wonder if Mr. and Mrs. Bleakman will let us use it. We should ask them. Mr. and Mrs. Bleakman, your pool is pretty big. Could we use it to give Clifford his birthday bath? Hmm, maybe. But we can't possibly think about that now. We are way too hungry. What do you want? I don't know exactly. I want something cold. Cold and pink. Cold and pink on a stick. I guess we need to keep on the lookout for something cold and pink on a stick. <laughs> Hi, Emily. Clifford, how about 125 ice cream cones? Just kidding. <laughs> so, what will it be for the lucky owner of the birthday dog? What do you have, Sandy? Ooh, they all look so good. Go ahead and pick them. Hmm. That looks good. A pink ice cream bar. Sandy, can you put it in a freezer bag to keep it cold? Sure. Thanks. Let's put this in the backpack. Those are amazing. Here you go, Mr. and Mrs. Griezmann. It's perfect. Just what we asked for. And you didn't even step on the flowers. Oh, and about the pool. Use it. We never use it. Oh, boy, we can use the pool. I can't believe my ears. <laughs> Okay, Clifford, that time. Hey! We said you could get in the pool, not get the pool on us. Some people make such a fuss over a little water. Look at all this stuff we can use to groom Clifford. Wow, Clifford, you're going to look your birthday best. But Rince will be to show off at your party. This is our backyard, and this is where we're going to have Clifford's party. But first, we have to do something about this mess. Clifford likes to collect stuff and bury it here in the backyard. 
But since this is where we're having the party, we need to clean up. Which gives me an idea. Maybe we could make it easier for Clifford to put his stuff away. We could dig up his things and find the stuff that goes together. You know, like a ball and a bat, a girl and her dog. Okay, dig up one mound at a time and find the things that go together. Red. Racket. No, those don't belong. Dust pan. Picture frame. Flower seed. Tennis ball. Guess not. Tennis ball. Racket. That's it. What? Room. Dust pan. You got it. What? Pencil. Needle. Gosh, I don't think so. Needle. Red. Yep. They go together. What? Flower pot. Flower seed. <laughs> yes. What? Picture. Picture frame. Yes. What? Paper. Pencil. <laughs> That's it. What? Wow. You did it. <laughs> Wow, you are a cleaning witch. Good job. <laughs> if you want to dig up more of Clifford's things, just click on the shovel. We'll leave it here on the fix. Now, da -da -da -da, it's time to decorate Clifford's doghouse. This says, Happy Birthday, Clifford, from us. It's looking like a party doghouse now. <laughs> Excellent. The market's just the place to get Clifford's birthday cake. Hello, Mr. Hamburger. Hello, Emily Elizabeth. Happy Birthday, Clifford. <laughs> Clifford loves Mr. Hamburger. I wonder if it has anything to do with his name. Here's a treat for ya! Oh, oh, a lovely lunch display. I'm sorry, Mr. Hamburger. Sometimes Clifford gets a little too excited. <laughs> but I'm sure we can do something to fix this. Now, we just need to clean up the rest of this mess. And later, we'll see about Clifford's birthday cake. The picture that goes on top of the display has broken into pieces. Okay, let's see if we can glue these pieces together so they look like the picture in the corner. You did it! Mr. Hamburger will be happy about this. Come on. Good job. Good as new. Now we need to do something about all that food. Great. Let's put all the stuff back on the shelves. Okay. Let's see if we can put these things back on the shelves in just the right way. Mr. Hamburger likes to have all the same kind of food together on the same shelf. Red. 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 Pasta. 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 Soup. Soup. Tomato sauce. Tomatoes. Tomato. Tuna, tuna, chips. All right, you put everything in its place. Good job. <laughs> that looks great. Oh, that's perfect. 
I couldn't have done it any better myself. Now we can see about getting Clifford's birthday cake for the party. I'm going to bake one especially just for Clifford. <laughs> All you have to do is pick the icing and the decorations. <laughs> oh boy, this is going to be great. You can get... T. T. V. V. G. G. O. O. M. M. E. E. like the one you decorated. Oh boy, that's great. I'll make it a little later, just before the party. And we can even decorate another cake later. We just have to let Mr. Hamburger know. That's the post office. We need to pick up the special package that Grandma sent for Clifford's birthday. Whoa. It's from Lorna Diamond and her dog Ruby. Hello, Ramona. Hey, that looks like Clifford's birthday package. Well, we were expecting a package today for Ruby. All the way from Groomingdale's in the big city. And it does say to the best dog in the world, but that package also says from Grandma. Oh, that part. Well, if this isn't our package, I don't know what I'll do. We need all that fun stuff from Groomingdale's to Ruby to wear to Clifford's party. Ramona, we'll mind your package for Ruby. Oh, okay, thanks. And I'll take good care of yours until you find mine. Yeah, right here. Good. Great. Thanks. Wait a minute, Clifford. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> oh, Ramona, I have something for you. It's the package from Groomingdale's. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Now Ruby will look spectacular for Clifford's party. Thanks for finding it. You're welcome. See you at the party. This is it, Clifford. Your super special birthday surprise from Grandma. <laughs> Clifford wants to open it. But we'll just have to wait until the party. Good job. Wait a minute, Clifford. Do you know what that means? We've done everything we need to do. So, do you know what time it is? 
it's time for Clifford's birthday party. Oh, so I wonder where everybody is. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Clifford! <laughs> likes it. And he really likes you. Clifford's photo album. Let's look at the picture we took of him today. Isn't that the cutest big red dog you've ever seen? <laughs> Happy birthday, Clifford. I've been thinking you might be hungry, so open wide, birthday dog. Special delivery for my favorite big red dog! Boy, now that's what I call a good looking tip. Woof, woof! Are you having fun at Clifford's birthday party, Rubikins? Well, here you go. A birthday bow for Clifford. Special delivery for Clifford. Here's a song I wrote just for Clifford. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. You're my favorite big red dog. Clifford, it's time to open your super special birthday package from Grandma. Clifford loves soccer. Come on, let's play. This is going to be fun. First, pick four of Clifford's pals to be on the other team. If you pick one and change your mind, just click on the dog again. Rover. Peaches. Raffles. Woody. We're ready to play Clifford's birthday soccer game. Okay, beginner. Here's how it works. Move Clifford right and left to block the ball. Then click and Clifford will kick the ball. Try to keep the ball out of our goal and see if you can get it into the other goal. Ready, set, let's play.
you want to keep playing the game. Okay, see ya. Come back real soon.